People are protesting ahead of tomorrow's oral arguments, challenging President Biden's student debt relief plan. The outcome could affect as many as 43 million Americans who have federal student loans. The president's plan forgives $20,000 worth of debt for students who receive Pell Grants. Other borrowers are eligible for $10,000 in relief. There is an income cap of $125,000 to qualify for this program. News 4's Derek Ward is live outside the high court tonight where students are camping out for the night. Hi, Derek. Good evening. Well, indeed they are. There was a rally in front of the court earlier, and now they're going to test their mettle and their determination and also test the Biden administration's ability to use the HEROES Act to do something like suspend that student debt. He's, that can be done now in the case of a natural disaster or a national emergency, and the administration says COVID is that national emergency. But in any case, when those arguments start tomorrow morning, these folks will have a front row seat. It's not the most hospitable evening for camping out, even with food, blankets, and music providing some comfort. I mean, isn't there a thing that if it rains on an important day, it's good luck? They plan to get a jump on the important day, Tuesday, when the Supreme Court is set to hear oral arguments in two cases challenging the Biden administration's student debt relief plan. It was announced last August, but by the fall, two of several legal challenges stuck. Six states challenged the plan and were denied because a lower court said they lacked standing. They couldn't prove they'd be harmed by the plan. Another challenge was mounted by students, one who objects because her loan was ineligible and the other because he would only receive $10,000 in debt relief. They spent a lot of money to find people and tell them to sue. Opponents of the plan say it would make taxpayers foot the bill for $400 billion in relief over 30 years and it would cancel up to $10,000 in debt for individuals individuals making less than $125,000 per year and $20,000 for those who are also Pell Grant recipients. And Massachusetts Senator Ed Markey told the crowd he knows firsthand what it's like. My father drove a truck for the Hood Milk Company. I was still paying back my student loans to go to college in my fifth year as a United States congressman. About 43 million borrowers would be eligible for relief. It's a very uh, important uh, issue, not just in the black community, but in uh, America as a whole. Other students are new to the issue, like Meredith Houston, in town from New York. These bright lights caught her attention. We got out of the car to see what the issue was, and we've been listening to some people talk and learning more about the issue. The plan will cost $400 billion over 30 years, and supporters see it as an investment. And it's really a deterrent when we have future leaders who are out here who they can really progress in society, but having the idea of loans is really something that holds a lot of our potential leaders back. 16 million applications have already been approved. It'll be up to the high court whether those approvals Lead to relief. Now, federal student loan debts have been suspended, or federal student loan payments have been suspended pending the decision. Now, if that decision uh, is made before June 30th, those payments will start up 30 days after that date. If not, it'll be 30 days after the date that this, this issue is resolved. And, of course, that whole process starts tomorrow. We're live outside the U.S. Supreme Court. Eric Ward, News 4. Back all to right, you. Derek, some brave souls out there. It's going to be a soggy night all night long. Thanks so much, Sean.